All right, I'm out here diagnosing a overfeeding expansion valve. I'm not sure how well you can see these pressures. 131 and 303, about 5.2 superheat, about 0.3 to zero subcooling, more or less. The system's been running for approximately 45 minutes now. Um, just a little history on this job. This is a new home. Um, our install crew installed this system. I came out about a week ago and was doing the startup, basically pulling a vacuum, installing filter dryer, and opening the lines and cycling the system. And what I was finding that day was basically what I'm looking at now is the expansion valve seemed like it was wide open. It wasn't throttling closed at all, basically free flowing. Um, so that day, the first day that I was out here was about 68 degrees outside and rain and it was about 68 inside, so didn't have much load. So I opted just to leave everything the way it was, come back on a warmer day and recheck it, which is what I'm doing today. It's about 78 outside. I fired up the electric heat and got the temperature up to about 78 inside, um, just so I could get some runtime on the system with some warmer temperatures. And as you can see, everything is pretty much the same as it was when I left it last week. Um, the expansion valve is not closing. Went upstairs, took a look at the valve, made sure that the sensing bulb was uh, where it should be, mounted, secured, all that good stuff. Nothing looks unusual. Everything looks pretty standard. The only thing that I did notice um, is that the evaporator pool stub out is 5 8 and the line set here is 3 quarter. So it looks like what somebody did when they installed it was they put a 3 quarter inch coupling over the 5 8 stub on the evaporator pool. And I'm thinking that when they did that, they either didn't insulate the, the valve itself or the sensing bulb and that suction line got really hot and somehow damaged the expansion valve because like I said it's wide open and it's not closing at all so tapped on the valve a little bit um, tried to see if I can get any movement and it's, it's just free flowing pretty much wide open so we are going to get a warranty replacement valve and I will be back in the next day or two to swap that out Make sure when you're installing expansion valves, you insulate the valve and insulate the sensing bulb or just disconnect the sensing bulb from the suction line because they don't tend to like heat very much and it's fairly easy to overheat and cause issues with the expansion valve. So there you go. Figured I'd get it on tape. So thanks for watching. Like and comment and see you on the next one.